During the requirements of the late cabinet minister Nicholas Biwot, former president of the Republic of Tanzania Jakaya Kikwete, urged President Uhuru Kenyatta and NASA flag bearer Raila Odinga to ensure that there is peace in Kenya during the August elections. <laughs> na wanasiasa wote wa Kenya political class amani na utulivu wa Kenya uko mkono ni mwenu nyinyi ndio mtakayefanya Kenya iwe na amani na nyinyi ndio mtakayefanya Kenya iwe na utulivu Kikwete said East Africa has lost a man who strived to unite the countries for the sake of integration and development. Ya watu wake ambao walikuwa Cabinet Secretary for Treasury Henry Rotich eulogized Biwot as a stunt leader who maintained that things have to be done in time for the sake of the nation. One of the most influential, courageous and profoundly good person that any of us will ever share time with in, in this country. Honorable Biwot has made a huge contribution in this country, an immense contribution. In business, he executed his moves with precision, with deftness, and with stealth. He was like a grandmaster in a game of chess. Minister of Foreign Affairs Ambassador Amina Mohamed said the late Biwot has led Kenya in making great hallmark in the East African bloc. Conversations I had with him, even as he negotiated the African Growth and Opportunity Act, they are gone, and ensured he did that Kenya was the first country to sign and to ratify a goal. During that time, he spoke and worried about the youth and the need to create opportunities for them. A goal for the late minister would help us export our way out of poverty. His patriotism and efficiency while in public office will remain an indelible testimony of his love for and dedication. Elgeo Marakwet Governor Alex Tolgos eulogized the late Biwot as a leader who put education in the forefront, especially for the disadvantaged in the society. In our time, we thought that maybe Honorable Biwot treated us uh, uh, more than the others. But when we shared uh, moments with other uh, students from Elgeo Marakwet County, I realized that he always took care of all the students who are in various universities, and various institutions in this country. The late Nicholas Biwot died in a city hospital last week at the age of 77. From being a leader whose private life is less known to many, the late Biwot has been eulogized as a selfless leader whose good deeds have been documented throughout his life. Gladys Mungai, Ebro TV, Nairobi.